Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Get Case Room. In this video, we are going to discuss context switching in operating system. This is the twelfth video in the series of operating system, and if you haven't watched my previous videos yet, then make sure you watch them. Before getting started with context switching, imagine you are using your computer, and suddenly some new important task demands attention, like any message arriving or the timer runs out, the alarm beeps something. So this process of another task demanding attention is known as interrupt. The computer passes whatever you are doing and saves its current state and shifts to its urgent task. This shift is known as context switching, and this is facilitated by the interrupting system. We also have system call. For example, if a program needs a specific service from operating system, it makes a system call. We have discussed about system call in our previous videos, how the user mode converts to the kernel mode, and so on. So whenever a program needs specific service, the system call is promoted. and the total control is given to the operating system after that task is completed the system restarts and comes to its original state allowing continuation of the resumed process therefore the interrupts and system calls trigger context switching ensuring efficient handle of different tasks now let's understand how the context switching works also let's look at the base definition of context switching context switching refers to the process of saving and restoring the state of computer cpu so that it can switch between different task or process so imagine there are two processors and shifting between that one processor to the second processor is happening so first step you are going to do is to save the state of the first processor now in a multitasking operating system multiple processors or threads can run concurrently but you need to remember that cpu can only execute instructions for one task at a time and that is the reason context switching is there If CPU can handle more tasks at a time, then there is no need of context switching, right? From one process to another process, CPU shifts, and again it comes back once the process is done. Now, context switching allows the operating system to efficiently manage and switch between these tasks, giving the illusion of parallel execution. Now, let's look into a diagram and understand it even more clearly. So, process P1 and process P2 are the two processes we have, and process p1 and process p2 concurrently running on our cpu and there is a cpu switch request right now here process 1 is executing and we have an interrupt or a system call this event triggers a switch from process a to process b the first thing it does is to save state into pcb1 that is process control block 1 and reload state into process control block 2 and then it goes to process 2 and starts executing until Another event occurs a switch from process B to process A that is maybe interrupt or a system call then again it saves the state into PCB2 that is process control block 2 and reloads its state into process control block 1 and it again goes to process 1 and it continues executing this is how context switch happens i hope you understood if you have any doubts feel free to comment below thank you so much for watching till the end please like share and subscribe to our channel get this soon